all right guys you're welcome back to my channel okay so in our previous video we drafted um from a half scale to a full scale block so you've not if you've not seen that video um kindly go to my channel and you'll see it okay you need to watch it because it's very detailed and it's very simple all right so let's get to what we have today today we're going to be drafting a queen and neckline okay now um we'll proceed okay so the first thing we're going to do is to introduce our underboss line okay now my underboss length is 14 so you place your tape from this starting point okay see where i placed my tape and then you mark your 14 inches so you make a mark there and then we'll come this side as well and you make a mark here's my 14 inches and then we're going to go ahead and connect that with a straight line okay so as usual we'll label this is my underboss line okay now let's proceed okay okay so now let's proceed now um my underboss round is 33 and 33 divided by 4 that's 8.25 okay now to measure we're simply going to start placing my tape like so okay i'm placing my tape from here so i've placed my tape now standard is three inches okay so you measure your three inches mark this is my three inches okay now you're going to carry it over from here to the end of this dart here remember i placed my tape like so and i measured my three inches okay now you're going to carry it over from here to this point and continue remember i said that my underboss round is 8.25 so this is my 8.25 here you make a mark there now let's measure what we have here what i have here left this is 0 0.6 okay so you come here and you measure your 0 0.6 and you place a mark there okay so this is what we have you remember place my tape like so so the standard is three inches okay now from was 42 upwards is 3.5 but um 40 below is three inches so from the center front you place your tape measure your three inches make a mark there then you carry it over with that three inches place that three inches after this that leg here and then you measure your underboss round my underboss round is 33 over four that's 8.25 I, I i made my mark there okay then you measure what you have left and what i have left here is is 0 0.6 okay so you come back here and measure it and mark it okay now it's time for us to connect let's go ahead and connect okay now you don't need you don't need your lines to be too sharp okay you don't need it too curvy Okay, so this is what we have. Okay, this is it for this side. Then for this other side, you place your curve. Remember that we've not closed our boss that. So you place your curve like so. You don't need it too sharp. Sorry, you don't need it too curvy. So you place your curve like so. Okay, this side because we are still going to reshape. So you mark this side with a pencil first. When you when you close your boss that you can now um remark or reshape that side. Okay, so this is what we have. We need to extend it to we'll extend it to our half length. Okay. So we extend it like so.
okay now from here we're extending it to like so okay now this is it but if you have tummy and you want to you know take everything all down then we need to extend it down to this point now remember that when we mat our blouse our blouse hip we added 0 0.5 allowance okay that's in the previous video when we we're drafting this block now that's 0 0.5 if you want to extend this that that's to take care of the tummy we will first extend this center that's that line like so extend it down okay now that 0 0.5 allowance that we added we're going to divide it into two okay 0 0.5 over 2 that's 0 0.25 and 0 0.25 okay this is it now we'll go ahead and extend our dots from here to meet this point and from here to meet this point now mind you this is optional this is to take care of the tummy okay to give you that flat tummy look but if you already have a flat tummy just stop your dart this way and it's perfect okay so we're going to place our ruler like so and you see place it like so and extend it to go and meet that 0 0.25 that we have there okay okay now we'll do the same for this side as well can you see the way i'm placing my ruler from here it must not pass through here, but from here to meet that 0 0.25, like so. Okay. This is what we have. We come in with our marker pen. Okay. So this is what we have. Okay. Now that's it. The next thing we're going to do is just to fold, close our boss that. But let's get to the... Queen Anne, okay, which is the reason for this video. Now, the first thing you're going to do is to connect from your neck width to meet your boss point, okay? That's the very first thing you're doing. We're connecting from this neck width to meet our boss point, like so, okay? Connect it. Okay? Now, let's choose, uh, let's decide our neck width, okay? Now, for my neck width, remember that initially what we have here is 3 inches neck width, okay? But I want to make use of um, 4.5, so I'll just place my tape like so and mark my 4.5, okay? So this is the neck width I will be working with, 4.5, okay? Now, um, the next thing we're going to do is to bring the line down now to extend it down i want to work with six inches okay remember our neck width is 4.5 my this part here i want to bring it down by four inches sorry by six inches okay so from here we bring it down by six inches okay now to guide you now mind you this depends on how open you want yours to be but for mine these are the measurements I work with, okay? Now, from this, my armhole curve, I'll come in by 2.5, okay? Remember, we came down here by 6 inches, and at that 6 inches point, you connect it to the armhole curve like this by 2.5. That's how wide I want mine to be, okay? Okay, so that's how wide I want mine to be. Neck width 4.5, um, we came down here by 6 inches, and then from here, to the armhole curve is 2.5 okay now we're going to connect this one first it's, it's going to be a bit of a slant line that's how i want mine okay now the next thing we're going to do is to determine our neck depth now from the 3.3 that we initially have i'll come down by 5.5 okay now I'm going to connect from here to meet this 5.5. I want it to have 
a little bit of sweetheart neckline. Just a little. Okay, now this is it. So now this is it. Let me also darken this part so that we can see it properly. Okay, now if you leave it this way, the neckline is going to gap. Okay, when the person bends a little, it's going to gap. Okay, so what you're going to do is to tighten. Now, to tighten from this point. Remember our line now to tighten from this point, we're going to come in by one inch. Okay. Can you see? So from here we'll come in by one inch, and then we're connecting it from here to meet this point. To meet the boss point, okay. Okay, so this is what we have now. Now our queen Anne is ready. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do, remember that we've not closed our boss that, okay? We'll start a little bit of reshaping at this point, okay? We'll reshape here because we need it to be rounded and not pointy like so, okay? We've reshaped, then, um. We need to tighten our neckline as well so that it doesn't um, start falling off the shoulder. Now to do that, on this line that we have, we'll come down by 0 0.5, okay? Come down here by 0 0.5 and tighten, and tighten the neckline, okay? So this is our new um shoulder line we're no longer we're not going to be making use of this so i'm cancelling it okay so this is our new line here now the next thing we're going to do let me just darken this point so we can see it properly okay now um we'll go ahead and um We'll go ahead and separate this block, okay? Now, since we've tightened the front, you also need to tighten your back. Now, to tighten your back, you come down by 0 0.25. This is it for the back. For the front is 0 0.5. For the back is 0 0.25. And you still connect. This is not going to shorten anything. It's only going to make your neckline a bit your shoulder firm okay now i'll go ahead and cut out i'll just separate the front and the back block we are actually done so i'll separate the two blocks then we'll go ahead and fold our boss that and also um, blend our neckline okay so we've separated um this is our our back block now okay now for the front thing we're going to do is to blend our neckline okay because if you cut it like this and place it on your fabric the necklines are not going to meet so you need to um, fold like so okay just try to take it up a bit like I'm doing okay now align it to the line okay Can you see that is not meeting? Okay, so um, next thing you're going to do is try to fold, okay, remember along the line. Now you align it to, to this line that we have here. Now you can see that it's not meeting. Can you see it's not meeting? There's a little gap here, okay? So what we're going to do is to reshape is to reshape it so simply place your curve
so you place your curve this is also another opportunity for you to reshape your neckline if you didn't like the first one that you did okay so place your curve like so and just re-blend it like i'm doing okay so when you open up this is what we have now this is our new our new neckline from here and no longer here so i'm going to use my curve i'll use my color pen to highlight it so we can see okay so this is a new neckline we're working with now and this one we're no longer going to make use of this first one okay so let me cancel it we're not making use of this first one anymore this is the line that we are working with okay and then we'll go ahead and close our boss that but to close our boss that you need to open up here a bit okay so let's cut out a little okay so we've separated we don't need this part anymore now this is our main block so the next thing we're going to do is to cut this part too okay then we'll go ahead and separate Okay, now with this, it becomes easier for you to fold your boss that. Okay, so I zoomed the page. I forgot to take it back to, um, so that it can capture the entire thing. But the only thing I did was to cut this piece of paper that we have here. This is the only thing I did. Okay, so I cut, I cut this part off because we don't need it anymore. Okay, and I also cut out the the lower part okay so this is the lower part i also took it off because we don't need it okay now the next thing we're going to do now the next thing we're going to do is to fold the boss that remember that we still have this side on pencil because we need to fold the boss that now to fold the boss that simply raise up your paper you know fold just you raise up your paper along your marked line okay can you see our line so that's what i am doing we take it off like so okay then we're going to align it to this main boss line okay so we take it off and then we place it like so can you see now i'll do that again this is the way the paper is okay so this is the way the paper, our pattern is, not the paper. This is where our pattern is now. Now, you take up your darts along the line, okay? Fold it like so. Then we need to align it to this um, straight boss point line, okay? Like this. Can you see that? Now, I'll bring in my tape. Okay, so now I'll bring in my tape like so. To close the dart okay okay now I need you to pay attention here can you see that this part is now looking this is the line is now looking a bit shorter it's not connecting anymore it's very simple okay there's nothing wrong with your with your pattern if this is what you have what you're going to do is simply come in with your ruler okay place it like so and just connect it back so we're connecting from here to meet this line okay like so okay and then we have it that's it we're done you can still see our neckline okay 
Now we're going to go ahead and cut this pattern out. So this is it for the center front, okay? I like to place a mark here so that anybody that sees this will know that they will cut this unfold, okay? So this is the unfold mark. Anybody that sees it will understand this, okay? Then we'll go ahead and cut and cut this part as well. Remember our new neckline? We're no longer making use of this. We're making use of the new one, okay? And our shoulder slope as well. We're not making use of this. Okay, so this is what we have. Now let's get to the shoulder. Okay, so that's it. Our pattern for the front is ready. Now, if you try to align it, you see that they will both meet. Can you see? The bust point lines are meeting and the neck lines are meeting. That's the essence of that blending. Now, to transfer to your fabric, I like to give a notch to indicate the bust point. Okay? Just notch your patterns. And then for my under bust line, I like to give just a 0 0.25 um, straight cut inside also my waistline to indicate them okay then I, i'll do the same here as well under bust line is a straight notch 0 0.25 in waistline straight notch 0 0.25 in bust points line just a little notch okay and that's it and then you go ahead and label this is your side your side front side f and then you label this part to your center front okay and that's it that's it for the queen hand neckline we are done all right guys so that's it um we're done with our neckline okay so um remember for your for your back pattern you're simply going to um extend your neck width remember for the neck width front we made it 4.5 so for your back you're going to alter that two to 4.5 okay and that's it all right guys so this is the neckline this is the queen and neckline the this is the final result okay so i made use of the pattern and this is it finished my dress this is a this is an inbuilt um corset okay you can see so and that's it Okay, so the neckline is really beautiful. Okay, it's a beautiful neckline. And um, it doesn't gap at all. The fitting is just perfect. Thank you guys for watching. Kindly like and subscribe. Just leave your comments. Even if you don't have any question, just drop a comment. You know, just saying something like, oh, it was explanatory enough, clear, you know, straight to the point. Just something, you know, to encourage your girl. All right. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Okay. Bye.